and police say pulled the trigger in Toledo's latest homicide, turned himself in this morning. Police are not saying why Ray Gott decided to surrender after the Easter morning crime, but it could be because he feared for his life. Michelle Zapata is live in the newsroom now with that theory. Well, last night, the house Ray got was staying at started on fire. The cause is still being investigated, but many suspect arson, possible retaliation by the victim's family after got allegedly killed Edward Lee. Charred furniture still sits in front of this house on Weber. This is also where got surrendered to police. I think he was concerned. Possibly concerned for the safety of himself and his family because TFD arson investigators say the fire was intentionally set. As for the cause, nothing is being ruled out, including the possibility of a firebomb. Investigators say the Easter morning murder in the Moody Manor apartment lot began with a fight between two groups of girls at a club. It ended here. Police say the victim, Edward Lee, was related to one of the feuding groups of women, and the suspect, Ray Gott, was related to the women in the other group. There was a large disturbance. Uh, there were, as I understand it, multiple altercations going on, like a bunch of little mini fights in the parking lot, um, to which there were you know, a whole bunch of different people involved. Investigators believe that's when Gott fired several shots, hitting Lee twice and Sherlyn McKenzie once. Lee died at the hospital. Police say McKenzie is doing fine. Now, this investigation is far from over. Even though the suspect is behind bars, TFD is investigating an arson, and TPD is looking at the arson being a form of retaliation. Additional suspects and charges could be named in this case in the upcoming weeks. Reporting live, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News.